Hello internet world, welcome. Welcome to a new video on the Geek Noise channel. In today's video, I have got something for you if you really like your audio. Uh, not necessarily gaming audio, but just audio in general. Uh, this is a headphone uh, DAC amp. It's a really cool unit from Creative, part of their Sound Blaster range. And I can't wait to share with you my opinion of this. I've been using this for almost two weeks now. Blown away is the summary of this video, but do stay tuned. I'll go into all of the details uh, and explain just what you could use this for. Uh, Creative uh, very kindly sent this in free of charge for this video. As always, I disclose that. They haven't asked to pre-approve the video or for me to say anything in particular. Uh, this is what the product box looks like. It lists off all the specs on the front, which we'll run through very shortly. Before I switch over to showing you this up a little bit closer, I want to remind you this is a live broadcast. I can see plenty of you uh, tuning in live, including Russ. Good morning to you. Thanks for being first in the live chat. If you want to use the live chat, please do. If you're watching afterwards, please do use the regular comment section below. So anyway, let's switch over to have a look at this product. This is what the uh, product box looks like. Uh, so this is the Creative Sound Blast X3. It's a high res 7.1, so it creates like a 7.1 surround sound. Super XFi USB DAC, so it can be used uh, just as a, a DAC or indeed a headphone amplifier as well. Uh, it's got 115 decibel DAC, high res, supports up to 32 bit 192 kilohertz. Uh, it's got scout mode, crystal voice, also discrete 7.1 surround and virtual 7.1 surround as well, and supports Dolby audio. If we look around on the back here, uh, just if you do want to pause this uh, after the video or after the live broadcast, uh, Super X5 technology, what it basically does, it uses these really clever algorithms to change the audio up uh, into this sort of, sort of suedo uh, surround sound. It does special ear mapping. Really very, very impressive indeed. We've got 7.1 discrete channels of virtual, uh, so, sorry, I'll repeat that, 7.1 discrete channels and virtual surround sound with Dolby Digital Live encoding. Uh, really good audio processing in here as well. Uh, and also an audio balance. Uh, technology which is available if you use this on a PC or Mac. This is what the product looks like itself and it's really well built. Uh, admittedly the sort of outer casing here is made of plastic but it is a really good quality dense plastic. We've got some branding up the top here, uh, we've got the audio balance function button here, we've got a direct mode and we've also got a line out button here as well. If we look on the front we have got uh, earphones and also, uh, sorry, earphones or headphones output, and also microphone input as well. Uh, little rubberized feet on the bottom. Nothing on this side. Nothing on this side. Uh, but across the back, we've got plenty of options here. So we've got line outputs here for front, side, rear, and sub. Also line input, optical output. And then you do get a USB cable inside the box and the connection on the unit itself is USB-C. So USB-C to power this. You're going to connect this up to your computer, of course. Uh, supports Windows PC or Mac OS. Now something that's really nice on this is that the rotary control here is really very, very well engineered. Uh, we've got a chamfered edge to it. It's got a slight resistance to it as well. And of course we do get some LED light feedback on here when it's in use. And what this is gonna do is really improve the audio quality uh, of either what you put on the line outs or from the headphones that you plug into this. It really does create an immersive soundscape uh, nothing like I've quite heard before. I was really <laughs> exceptionally impressed. The sound stage is just widened so much. And these special algorithms that they use to delay certain parts of the audio that you're listening to really do create this effect as though you've got a full-on 7.1 surround sound setup. Absolutely amazing. In addition, in addition to those uh, really good sort of surround sound experiences not only that but if you're just listening to regular music it extends the frequencies that you're hearing as well 
uh, the conversion that it does inside this little box of tricks is really very very impressive it's absolutely superb solidly built piece of kit really well implemented uh, as I say you can download the software as well so that you can actually control this and configure it to your preference uh, and the fact that it works on PC and Mac is a uh, really welcome as well because sometimes with Mac OS just sometimes you are sort of left out uh, of the uh, crowd but this works with both and it really is an amazing bit of kit I'm really into my audio and I absolutely loved how this sound sounded and to be honest I don't think I could go back to listening to just regular audio where I just plug a pair of headphones in I think I'm always going to have to use some sort of uh, DAC or headphone amplifier and uh, this really did excel it exceeded all of my expectations now we have got plenty of you inside the live chat uh, we've got uh, I think it's IR1980. Good morning, Dave from West Midlands. Good morning to you. Uh, the Unexpected. Also, good morning, John Spark. Good morning. And uh, one, uh, Scloby, thank God you're reviewing this. I've wanted to pick one up. Looks good. Well, I can certainly say, apart from it looking good, it sounds absolutely fantastic. Uh, really very impressed by the performance on this. Uh, would I suggest you pick one up? It depends how much you really value your audio experience and also if you want to add on some extra processing as well because this isn't a pure audio experience you're just definitely getting the uh, creative sound blast a sort of signature sound but it does it so convincingly um, being able to experience something in like a virtual 7.1 with Dolby sort of audio processing as well but being able to experience that with headphones is quite impressive and it's just so so clever the way they do these little delays on audio to give you the experience that you would normally get with a full-on 7.1 surround sound setup uh, imagine having to have sort of left and right stereo speakers front speaker uh, like the center speaker also side speakers rear speakers and a subwoofer and being able to almost almost recreate that with a little box of tricks like this is very impressive. I think Creative have done a fantastic job with this. And also it's not that big. It's a nice sort of compact unit, a really nice array of ports across the back. It just feels really nice. Apart from this being a rotary control, I forgot to mention, it also acts as a button as well. Uh, but just a, it's just a really nice control on this unit. I really do like it. Highly recommended. I've left links to where you can actually pick this up down in the video description also a link to the creative website so please do check that as well there are lots and lots of headphone amps and and DACs available on the market nowadays uh, I was pleasantly surprised at the price of this one and I think it's one of the best I've actually tested in recent years It is a really good solution so please do check it out I want to thank you all for watching thanks for all tuning in to the live broadcast and and commenting in the live chat I really do appreciate that as well. The Geek and Noise community has been going a long, long time now, so thanks for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. If you've got any questions at all about this or any comments, please do pop them down in the comments section below. And one last thing, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. I'll see you in another video very, very soon, and I wish you a fantastic week ahead. See you in the next one.